This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at electrolytic cells. An electrolytic cell uses a single container in which an ionic compound is heated until it melts, becomes molten. So here we have an electrolytic cell which is heated until the ionic compound becomes molten, which is then called the electrolyte. An electric current is supplied from a battery and the oppositely charged ions are attracted to the anode or the cathode where they are oxidized or reduced. When the current is supplied, the electrons move in the wires and the ions move in the electrolyte. Here we have a diagram of an electrolytic cell. The electrolyte is molten sodium chloride, which is composed of positive sodium ions and negative chloride ions. When the electric current is supplied, the negative chloride ions are attracted to the anode, which is the positive electrode. The positive sodium ions are attracted to the cathode, which is the negative electrode. The electric current is conducted in two ways, by movement of electrons in the wires from the anode to the cathode and by the movement of the ions in the electrolyte. At the anode we have oxidation. The negative chloride ions are attracted to the positive electrode where they are oxidized to form chlorine gas. At the cathode we have reduction. The positive sodium ions are attracted to the negative electrode where they are reduced to form sodium atoms. And here we have the overall equation. As you can see there are two moles of sodium formed to one mole of chlorine gas. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.